fraudulent social security ads. What you need to know about misleading advertising. This is a big, big problem going on in this country with fraudulent Medicare and social security ads trying to get your information. In this video, I'm going to try to help you resolve some of those uh, things that you don't know about. Fraudulent and misleading ads. Consumers nationwide are often misled by advertisers who use Social Security or Medicare to entice their victims. Often these companies offer Social Security service for a fee, even though the same services are available directly from Social Security free of charge. These services include getting a corrected Social Security card showing a bride's married name, a Social Security card to replace a lost card, a Social Security statement, and a Social Security number for a child. All these services are free from Social Security. Uh, as you see here, this is a fraudulent, uh, says ssrecordsonline.org. Social Security is everything is .gov. The big lies. Some direct marketers suggest that Social Security is in dire financial shape and that people risk losing their Social Security or Medicare benefits unless they send a contribution or membership fee to the advertiser. Other companies give the false impression of a Social Security endorsement or affiliation by offering a Social Security update or related benefit update. Typically, these companies solicit information from consumers then resell the consumer's private information. These marketing practices are clearly mislead and deceive the American public. Here, as you can see, this uh, renew or replacement Social Security card, everything, again, has to end with that gov. How Social Security is combating misleading advertising. Section 1140 of the Social Security Act is a consumer protection tool against misleading advertising that prohibits the use of Social Security's words and symbols in a manner that conveys the false impression that Social Security issue or approved the communication. Section 1140 prohibits individuals and companies from misleading consumers by giving a false impression that Social Security is associated with or endorses the communication. Prohibited communication can take many forms, including mail, email, and televised advertisements, websites, social media, personal, personally targeted advertisements, mobile applications, and text messages. Reproducing and selling Social Security publications without authorization, as well as charging for services without notice that Social Security provides them for free, Social Security's Office for Inspector General OIG can impose civil monetary penalties using authority delegated from the Commission of Social Security against individuals, organizations, and other entities that violate Section 1140. As of January 2018, the OIG may impose penalties up to $10,260 for each violation and a penalty of more than $51,300 for in misuse to a broadcast or telecast. So here is uh, what they have here is a phone scam alert. Do not call back the number. Never give out personal information. The SSA won't threaten you. SSA's fraud hotline is 1-800-269-0271. What to do? What to do if you receive misleading information about Social Security? Send a complete ad, including the envelope, to the Office of Inspector General, Fraud Hotline, Social Security Administration, P.O. Box 17768, Baltimore, Maryland, 21235. Also, advise your state attorney general or consumer affairs office and the Better Business Bureau in your area. Here's a, a piece from socialsecurity.gov. Remember, everything has to say .gov. Protecting what's important to you. Phone scam allegation trend. Up to 30,592 uh, scams just in December of 2018. So be alert. There's also mis Medicare misleading ads. What if you receive misleading information about Medicare? Contact the Office of Inspector General for the Department of Health and Human Services. U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General. Attention HHS Tips Hotline, P.O. Box 23489, Washington, D.C., 20026. 
Be alert on Medicare scams. How to contact Social Security. The most convenient way to contact Social Security anytime, anywhere is to visit www.socialsecurity.gov. Remember, .gov, where you can also take care of some business with an online My Social Security account. Call toll-free 1-800-772-1213. If you're deaf or hard hearing, you can call the one 800 325-0778. They can answer your calls from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. weekdays or use their automatic services via telephone 24 hours a day. They look forward to serving you. Please like, subscribe, and share this valuable information. Like us on Facebook. Be notified. Uh, you can go to insuredmed.com whenever we put up something new. Please share, like, and subscribe. See you on the next video. Medicare. You can have your 65th birthday cake and eat it too. We are independent Medicare specialists who work for you, not the insurance companies. Call us 845-380-5809 or get a free quote at insuredmed.com.